comes to Asian food, Asian cuisine, you know, you're the man. You're the guy. I am. For decades, Nathan Fong has been the man when it comes to food in BC and not just the Asian kind. I would consider him to be food royalty amongst foodies. Chefs like Vancouver's Wang Dang says Fong was a foodie long before foodies were a thing, and he had credibility too. A lot of chefs, I think, respect him greatly because he, uh, he could cook too. A trained chef by trade, Fong's love for food led to a multifaceted career. First as a food stylist, working for everyone from McDonald's to the Four Seasons, even winning an award from his idol Julia Child in 1998. He then found his way on screen as a columnist, never shying away from any food, even prairie oysters or calf testicles. Listen, I've had escamole and eggs in Mexico. I've had crickets in Oaxaca. What's a cup of balls? <laughs> He was also a writer with bylines in major magazines and a radio host. I think the thing about him that made him really stand out was that he truly cared about people. Always pushing local and sustainable foods like gooey duck, something he wasn't shy about promoting to Prince William and Kate during their royal visit to BC. Prince William said they were, what did he say? Presentationally challenged. Presentationally <laughs> challenged. His partner of more than two decades says their house was always filled with people and parties. I always say I was married to three people. I had like my husband and then I had the food, the food industry. It was, that was our marriage. And their beloved dog, Yuki. Shaquan says Fong was a connector, even for those less fortunate. Fong was the founder of Passions, a fundraiser that's given $1.6 million to the Dr. Peter AIDS Foundation. For him, it was extremely important, and it meant the world for him, because he didn't want to see his peers, his community, not, not fed. The hardest part now, he says, is not being able to remember his husband the way he would have wanted. He's taking a rain check on the hugs and the celebration of life. He's a man of honor and he should be honored for who he, who he was and what he gave to the community. Nathan Fong was 61. Leanne Young, CBC News, Vancouver.